can you pass the Linda test? Almost 90% of Stanford students got it wrong. Last video, I gave the full version that I called the social perception test. Yes, I was trying to trick you with that. It gives you this description of Linda and these possible descriptions that you had to rank in order of most to least likely to apply to her. But really only these two mattered. Pause and write down which of these two you think is most likely to apply to Linda. Ready for the answer? This question set you up to fall for a cognitive bias known as the conjunction fallacy. Our brains are really bad at probability as many of you may have discovered in college. But it's not your fault, it's built in. We'll go into the evolutionary reasons later. 90% of students said that Linda was more likely to be a feminist bank teller than just a bank teller. But that is wrong. Even if you know nothing about Linda, B is included in A, and so can't be more likely than it. Let's say the odds of A were 20%. B could only be less than 20%. So why do we make this mistake? Nobel Prize winner Daniel Kahneman proposed that it was due to something he called the representativeness heuristic. When our brain is guessing at probabilities, it compares what's in front of it to its existing mental models and stereotypes. Because Linda seemed more representative of the category of feminist bank tellers than she did of just bank tellers, that translated to thinking the combination as being more likely against all actual rules of probability. There's more to it, so if you like learning about how to think better, hit that follow button and we're gonna have fun with this segment of fantastic biases and how to spot them.